Hey everyone and welcome back to another Celebrity Big Brother recap. I hope you're all having a great night tonight. We are going to be talking about night day 17. It is also the day of evictions. We hear lots of get Gemma's outs, lots of booze for John, cheers for Megan, booze for Stephanie, Tiffany is a mix of booze and cheers. I wasn't paying attention to the other housemates so I didn't hear how people were treating them. Uh, I think mostly cheers for everyone else. Uh, 9.41 a.m., John, and this is the day before evictions, John and Jeremy are talking. He doesn't want the shit with Stephanie to go on anymore. Big Brother gra gathers the housemates. Scotty is gossiping uh, with Darren in the bathroom. As Big Brother says, the housemates gather in the living room and it goes to them and they're gossiping in the bathroom about Jeremy and Stephanie. Uh, in the house, Jeremy and Stephanie are the first ones to come to the couches, and they sit down awkwardly and say nothing to one another. Megan walks in and says, What's wrong with you two? 10.43 <laughs> a.m., two policemen come in once the housemates are gathered, and they arrest two of them, and they must go into jail. John is one of them, and Gemma is the second one. She says she won't do it, she refuses, goes to the bedroom, starts packing her shit up. Daniela says she woke, she just woke up and she doesn't feel that great, so of course she's pissed off. Gemma takes off her mic and starts packing. She's pissed. Daniela comes in and tries to stop her. She continues, goes on crying, says she's ha had enough. She has enough money. She's not worried about it. This isn't worth it. She starts screaming. She's claustrophobic. Back in the living room, Chris says he's sick of this shit. They can bail out one housemate from the jail, but the hot water will be turned off and the electricity. Gemma says she has had enough and wants out. She's crying. She really wants to go. Stephanie says she's being pathetic. John is in prison and he agrees that she's being pathetic. Stephanie says she should be ashamed of her behavior about Gemma. 11.38 a.m. John has been in jail for one hour. Chris talks to Gemma in the bedroom about what she said that was mean about him during the task, I guess. Uh, Gemma confronts Stephanie for telling Chris what she said. Megan gets mad and says again she's being a bully. Stephanie, not Megan. Stephanie says again you're being a bully. Uh, what you said is rude, uh, but at least I say things to your face. Gemma calls her fake and says she isn't getting in the cage and hopes Stephanie doesn't get the water that she wants. They get in a tip for tat about cheap clothing and Gemma says she's being... <clears throat> she's... she's... intimidated. Gemma is saying that Stephanie is intimidated by her and that she needs to drop off with the attitude and redeem herself. 11.51 a.m. 10 minutes later they want to bail John out of jail. Big Brother sits him down again. Let me take a sip. Ugh. Big Brother sits them down again. And they discuss who they're going to bail out. Everyone, or a couple of people want to bail out John. But in the end, they bail out Gemma. A few minutes later, she goes and talks to John. And says, we're, we're the popular ones because we're creating drama. In the bedroom, Scotty and Megan are getting close while she's in her undies. Outside, Stephanie and Jeremy chat about the shit she says. Um, and that she wouldn't have dropped him outside of the house. And everything that everyone's saying is fucked up and rude. And bullshit. She wants to talk, but in the bathroom. She's crying and says that she wasn't trying to hurt him. He says he's had enough of it and doesn't do the drama shit. Tiffany comes in and says, I have one one thing to say to you guys. You have to keep people out of your business. She like, oh, um, oh she, Johnny was just building everyone up and whispering and gar gossiping and starting shit. And she just like walks out right away. That was pretty funny. Jeremy says uh, that he was attracted to Stephanie and that they are attracted to each other and that's why they have been close but they can't be close and she says it's hard because they are attracted to each other. She cries and said she feels heartbroken. <coughs> just just bullshit. 
utter bullshit. 1.34 p.m. There are 44 geese outside and Scotty and Darren have to round them up into a cage. This is really actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> Darren like goes to one side and Scotty goes to another. One of them has like a fucking killer hairdo. Uh, they get set, they get a, one group of the geese in and then they get the other group of the geese in so they win. 2.31 p.m. John heard Stephanie say that she hopes her boyfriend comes into the house. She's telling, he's telling this to Jeremy. He's being serious. They show footage of Stephanie saying, yes, I hope he comes in because then he'll end this Jeremy shit. Like, end it yourself. You're a fucking grown adult woman. What do you mean? You need your boyfriend to come fucking save you? Come on. Jeremy says he doesn't really doubt it. He pretty much believes it. Scotty is in, in talking with Big Brother about Gemma being over the top and not getting in the cage. Even just for a minute. And then she would have gotten out with the bail. Like, she couldn't even, even have done that. Scotty says he's horny and feels bad for the first girl who gets it once he gets out of the house. Uh, she will have to be wheeled around in a wheelbarrow. Gemma thinks she's pregnant. She says her belly feels weird. She's excited but scared. She's going to have a C-section. She says she can just feel it, and, and Tiffany and Daniela are all excited for her. They all agree. Tiffany says the be belly thing, is, she's totally pregnant. 4.14 p.m., John is, hasn't been, been in jail for six hours and finally gets out. The last part of the task is four housemates have to dress up and impersonate one another. Tiffany is going to impersonate Megan. Megan is going to impersonate Tiffany. Daniela is going to impersonate John, and Scotty T is going to impersonate Stephanie. Scotty T flirts with Jeremy. Daniela is absolutely hilarious. They're all pretty ridiculous. Megan is fucking hilarious. She's screaming at Tiffany. It was so funny. It was so, so funny. Um, <laughs> they get got through. All in all, I have to yawn again. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk slower. It's like it's still, it doesn't even, it doesn't matter. I still yawn. Uh, they got three fails, but they could, they could have gotten one more, four fails, and they would have failed, but they got three fails, and so they passed. Or they could have gotten four fails and passed. They ended up getting three fails, and so they passed anyways. 9.38 p.m., Gemma found out she's not pregnant and she's relieved. Tiffany is disappointed. She's happy she doesn't have to give up drinking. <laughs> Gemma says something to, uh, Jeremy says something to Gemma and she thanks him for being polite for whatever he said. Stephanie says something to Jeremy and, Jer and Gemma says, stop being so snippy. They get into it and Jeremy says, let's go out and smoke. Um, they go out and smoke. He says, you did snip at her. And he says, like, give me a drag off of your cigarette. I'm going in, inside. She protests, and when he gets up to go inside, she fucking gets up to go inside, too. How codependent are you on a guy that's not even your boyfriend? 10.37 p.m., Tiffany and Gemma are talking evictions. In the kitchen, Stephanie says, Gemma grates on her tits. Scotty T and Megan are kissing in bed. He says good things come to those who wait, and if we have to wait, we will wait. Gemma talks to Big Brother. She says she's ready to go home if she does. Gemma says everyone is going at her, and for no reason. Back in the house. Oh, back. So I think that's how they were going to end the episode, because now we're back to live footage back in the house. Gemma's safe. John is safe. Live in... With Emma, she says, <sighs> I don't know what that's about. I don't know what the hell I was writing down. <laughs> Stephanie's really worried about being evicted. Later, Megan is evicted. Daniela says, <laughs> Uh, Daniela said let it be her right before that. Tiffany's so upset that Megan's been evicted live in the house. Big Brother tells the housemates all housemates will be up for eviction, but they have chances to save themselves over the weekend. All 
all that are not immune after the weekend will be up for eviction. Doors, uh, will, a door will be opened and they go into the room. They will stand behind a box and it will reveal their fate. Megan does her interview. She knew it was only... She knew that she'd only been on one show before, so she thought going into the Big Brother house was kind of a joke. But she was really happy that she did get in. She kind of knew that she wouldn't have a lot of people voting for her. She's thankful to coming out for cheers. Holy John. Oh. That's the real fucked up thing. It's like only one person had put her up for eviction. So fuck you, John. I hate you. <laughs> they show Megan and all of her freaking outs. And she's shocked. She felt bad for hitting the camera. Uh, I miss a bit, but she ends up saying that she likes Gemma and everyone boos and she says they're only seeing one side of her. They show all the stuff with her and Scotty T and she hopes that he wins and they'll both they'll both be single so she, they plan on going to dinner after he gets out. She does like him but they're just going to party and have fun. Gemma asked about or Emma asked about Stephanie and Jeremy. She says at first it was innocent but it got out of hand and eventually she gave up trying to tell them to take a step back. Best bits Back into the house, they enter the room, and they stand behind the music boxes of their choice. Uh, everyone is not immune. Gemma got immunity. They get a party. They're all very happy. Uh, but Big Brother reveals that there also will be some difficult things that Gemma will have to do. They're all excited. They get cocktails and appetizers. They toast to Megan, and they're all really happy. So I'm interested to see tonight's episode. So I hope you all have a good night, and I will see you in the McBong in a couple hours. Bye.